Benny has had an answer for it. He's claimed that only those healings that are medically verified are broadcast on his television program. He said that many times, like this. There's five stages of our follow-up where we call the doctor and say, were they sick? And then we verify these healings. She hasn't been able to walk up steps. So we thought we'd put that miracle verification to the test. Last summer, Benny Hinn held services in Toronto, filling the Air Canada Centre three times in just 24 hours, declaring dozens of miraculous healings. A few weeks later, the highlights of that Toronto crusade were shown around the world on his TV show. Dr. Mahari, these are the ones you called out with AIDS, Pastor. My God! HIV, Paul! You devil of AIDS! Come out of them! In the name of Jesus Christ! The Son of God, you come out of them. You come out, I said, come out. Come Those out. miracles included people he proclaimed cured of AIDS. Feel my cup. That cancer goes in Jesus' name. Of cervical cancer. This is Lisa, you called out tonight. Of diabetes. The ministry declined to talk to us on camera. So we set out to track down those healings ourselves. We were independently able to find four of the people declared miraculously healed by Benny Hinn in Toronto. Remember, Hinn insists all those healings are medically verified. This woman declined to talk to us. Of the others, it turns out the woman declared cured of cervical cancer didn't have cancer in the first place, but something called mild dysplasia, a change in cell structure that her doctor is monitoring. Since the crusade, this woman's diabetes actually got worse, and she was hospitalized. And according to her latest medical test, the woman in the center still has AIDS. So what really is going on here? Is it mass deception? Mass hypnosis? From his research, Justin Peters believes this. It's a matter of mind over body. And for a while, you can make yourself believe that you are healed, and you feel better for a little while until the euphoria subsides, a new day dawns, and the symptoms almost always reappear. In fact, remember those so-called miracles we told you about earlier? Well, it turns out they weren't quite what Pastor Benny said they were either. The Mayo Clinic determined that boxer Evander Holyfield never had a heart condition. He'd been misdiagnosed. Little William's eyesight is still damaged. And according to his family, three years later, he hasn't seen a penny from any ministry trust fund. And shortly after I spoke with her, Belva Ventura died of cancer. And when Benny Hinn's crusade in Calgary ended, Janice Brulot carried her daughter Grace back home. She cried, and she told me she was so disappointed. But at the same time, I have not given up hope. And I will never give up hope in believing that one day she will walk. As you'll see when we return, what Benny Hinn's ministry may lack in miracles, it more than makes up in money. He lives and does the best of anything and everything. Uh, money is never an object. Uh, he spends on whatever he likes, only the best for him, for Benny. When Benny Hinn travels to his crusades around the world, it's first class all the way, from the phalanx of bodyguards who secure the path to his motorcade, to the police escort he pays for almost everywhere he goes. What's all this money good for, my friend? You're not going to take it with you. To his trademark white suits, his ministry's logo stitched, it is said, with 24 karat gold thread custom tailored in Beverly Hills for several thousand dollars apiece. The man who once asked where in the scriptures does it say I have to drive a Honda has Mercedes-Benz taste. In fact, he owns two of them, this convertible and a Mercedes SUV, each of which cost him over 80,000 US dollars. If there's one thing that is certain about Benny Hinn, it's that he hasn't taken a vow of poverty. That's his house up there over my shoulder, overlooking the Pacific Ocean on some of the most expensive residential property in the U.S. According to local building permits, it has more than 7,000 square feet of living space, seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 
We've consulted real estate agents, and they tell us that if that house went on the market today, the selling price would be about $10 million. But for Pastor Banny, the house deal gets better. It's an exclusive enclave in California surrounded by security guards on one side and spectacular views of the Pacific Ocean on the other. And because this is officially registered as Hinn's parsonage or church residence, his ministry pays for all of it, including electrical bills and property tax. Add the private jet the ministry leases for him, the presidential hotel suites, the reported seven-figure salary, and a picture emerges of a self-proclaimed spiritual leader with an obvious taste for the material world. It's a young man then. Now you can make checks payable, of course, to Benny Hinn Ministries. Appeals for cash are a mainstay of Hinn's ministry. Put your name, your account number, your expiration date, and sign. Thank you, Lord, for strength. But many loyal Hinn followers, like kidney patient Jordy Gibson in Alberta, reject criticism of Pastor Benny's fundraising and spending habits. Benny Hinn's got expenses, you know. It costs money to travel to bring the gospel of Christ around the world. And he's not asking for money so he can get rich. He's asking for money so he can continue bringing the healing message of salvation uh, across like the world. Jesus is the answer. And apparently millions of others feel the same way because the revenue streams pour into Benny Hinn's ministry. At his 50 or more crusade services each year, while Pastor Benny preaches on stage, backstage, staffers and volunteers empty collection buckets filled by his capacity crowds. It's never a, that was a great crusade. We saved a lot of souls. That was a great crusade. God was in the house with us. It's... That was a good crusade. We made half a million dollars. Andrew saw those crusades from the inside on his security team. Do you have any sense of how much money the average collection at a crusade would be? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. I believe the most of, uh, for one evening, I believe the most that I am aware of was like $780,000. Then there are Pastor Benny's donors, known as partners, who pledge to give him at least $30 every month. It's estimated he has 100,000 of those. And the ministry sells merchandise at crusades, by mail, and online. Benny Hinn's books, videotapes, Bibles. Benny signs those, autographs the Bibles, and sells them. And there was a time when Benny signed 30 Bibles, put his pen down and said, I just made $30,000. Almost euphoric. How much does all that add up to? Well, we don't know, because under U.S. tax laws, the Hinn Ministry is a religious organization and not obligated to make its finances public. Most major U.S. churches and ministries release that information voluntarily, not Benny Hinn's. But there is something else to go on here. Two years ago, Hinn sent out a fundraising letter in which he explained there had been a 10% dip in donations over the past six weeks. He said he needed an extra $2.5 million to make it up. Do the math. If that's true, by his own calculations, Benny Hinn's ministry takes in more than $200 million U.S. dollars a year. And because it's registered as a religious organization, it's all tax-free. And if Hinn won't say how much his ministry brings in, neither will he reveal how all that money is spent. What he has said, over and over, is this. What you give never goes to Benny Hinn. Never. I have never touched a cent of anything that comes in through television, anything that comes in through the crusade offerings. And, and, and what I want you to do is you send that gift and we'll use it in the ministry to spread the message of healing to the world. Andrew traveled with Benny Hinn on trips in North America and overseas. He lives and does the best of anything and everything. Uh, money is never an object. Uh, he spends on whatever he likes, only the best for him, for Benny. In the past, it's simply not been possible to verify if Benny Hinn is telling the truth when he says he spends every penny on God's work. That is, until now. The Fifth Estate has obtained confidential financial records from inside the Hinn ministry, documents provided by people who say they believe the public should know how Benny Hinn spends some of the money. 
This is a lot of money. Yeah. The documents tell a great deal about the stock.